Now it's important to come into the gym with a game plan or come into your workout with a game plan. So many people just show up and kind of do what comes to mind or do whatever, but you really should have a plan on what you're gonna do when you get to the gym, how many sets you're gonna do, your rest, all of that. You should really wanna have a plan, that way you can execute the plan and get in and out of the gym. So I'm gonna go ahead and plan my workout right now. I know I wanna do back and abs tonight. I know I wanna do a faster hit style workout. So I'm gonna pick three back exercises and three ab exercises. Pull-ups are probably the best exercise you could do for your back. All right, next up I have the TRX. So I'm gonna do a row style, you know, leaning back. So rows. I have the kettlebell, so I wanna do deadlifts. I like to do deadlifts on back and leg day. A lot of your back is involved in deadlifts as well as your hamstring and butt. So it's a great back day exercise too. And what the hell, I'm gonna throw one more in since I got the kettlebell. Kettleball? I always call it a kettleball. Kettlebell. Since I have the kettlebell, I wanna do rows too, back rows. All right, I got my back exercises. So for abs, I like to start my ab workout with my lower abs, obliques, and upper abs. So I'm gonna start with toes to bar. Toes to bar are just like hanging leg raises, except you bring your toes to the bar, obviously. It engages a little more of the core than just coming up. I'm actually just gonna do planks for obliques, side planks. And then to finish it off, I'm just gonna do crunches on the ball. Now your back is a really big muscle, so you really wanna do a lot of sets. Not a lot, but I do five sets for back. So I'm gonna do pull-ups, five times 10. Supersetted with toes to bar. That'll be five times 10 too. Do five times 10. Side planks, five on each side times 30 seconds. Deadlifts, I only have about a 60 pound kettlebell. So I think I might just rep those out for 30 seconds. So five times 30 seconds. Five times 20 on the crunches. I don't think I'm gonna use any weight. I don't really have anything to hold while I crunch on the ball. So I think I'll do a set of 20. And then row, I guess I'll do another ab exercise. I'll do planks. So for the last set, I'm gonna slow down a little. I'm gonna do three sets. So three times 10 on the rows. Planks I'll do three times 30 seconds. All right, that's my workout. I got my workout planned. I know what I'm gonna do. So, let's get started. All right, I didn't talk about rest time. I'm gonna rest about a minute in between sets. Uh, I wanna keep this workout going. I want it to be fast paced. I wanna burn a lot of fat. So, keep your rest time low. Oh yeah, I do wanna say, I did warm up before this workout. I just didn't show it. Um, I'll do a whole warm up uh, tutorial for you guys and post it, maybe the next video. I do basically the same warm up, varied a little bit for lower body and upper body. I spend a good amount of time warming up, at least five minutes, 10 minutes warming up. Uh, it's really important to, that your body's warm and ready to work out. I'm right, gonna start with pull-ups, 10 pull-ups to start, uh, followed by toes to bar right after. Toes to bar, you really want to keep your legs as straight as possible. That way you engage more of the lower abs and not your, not your hip flexors. If you bring your legs up, not above parallel, you're just working your hip flexors. But if you bring them up above parallel, you're gonna work your lower abs. All right, enough bullshit. take a minute break. If you guys didn't watch my putting together my home gym workout, you can see I put up the pull-up bar and the TRX and 
Anything else we got in here? As you can see, it's pretty sturdy. I know I said you want to move through this workout quickly, but I just mean the rest time, not necessarily the reps you're doing. You still want to be nice and slow and controlled and feel those muscles as you're lifting. Don't just do the movement, feel it. You can feel it. If you just go like this, come down like this, kind of bring your elbows behind your back and you can squeeze, squeeze your back muscles. And that's exactly what you want to feel. So many people I see are just doing the movements really. And they're not really feeling what they're doing. You gotta feel it. So if you feel like you're not feeling an exercise like you should be, just do it without any weight or just flex those muscles. So just like you would on a pull-up bar, pull it down and flex. Flex that back. It's the same thing you wanna do when you go up on the pull-up bar. Gloves. My hands always sweat a lot. One time in Hawaii, I was doing CrossFit on probably a 10 foot high pull up bar, doing those toes to bar really fast, you know, a competition competing against the other people. I was like, can get one more? I went up to get my one, touch the bar, whew, straight down on my butt. I didn't even really feel it because the adrenaline was going so much. <laughs> but everybody heard it, it was just like, thud. Next super set is gonna be rows and side planks. Now T-Rex is designed to use your body weight. So the more you lean over, basically, the heavier the weight or the heavier your body weight is, the more upright you are. It's not as hard. You get down. Harder, harder, <laughs> hardest. I need a timer for planks. Sorry, I just gotta show you guys this. What are you cute dogs doing? Look at how cute you guys are. You guys working out with daddy, huh? You working out with daddy? All right, I just got my timer on my phone. I'm gonna use for my side plank intervals. All right, so for side planks, you wanna keep your arms parallel, 90 degrees. Don't dump, you really wanna push up through your obliques. This is what you're working right here. Side obliques, so you really wanna pull those in towards the ceiling, just squeeze and just hold. A lot harder than it looks. Stack your feet on top of each other. Really gotta flex those legs too. 
If that's actually too hard for you, you can bring a knee down, kind of like that. Make it a little easier. I got my timer ready, and what I'm really gonna do is concentrate on squeezing the back on the way up. Let's do it. All right, and this is why you make a plan. You can just look at the board and say, all right, crunches. So on the board I wrote five sets, 20 reps. I guess that's what I felt like doing then, so let's do it now. Now when you crunch up, you really want to crunch towards the ceiling, not towards the front wall, so. Not like this necessarily, but like this. Look up to the ceiling. Crunch, crunch those abs. This is why you write stuff down because I get about 10, 11 reps in 30 seconds with that kettlebell and I could definitely do a lot more. I'm gonna stick to what I wrote on the board this workout, but then next workout, you just come in and increase the reps or the weight if you can. My exercise ball is running out of air and I don't have a pump, so I'm gonna finish them up on the bench. All right guys, on to my last set, my fourth set. I'm gonna do rows and planks. Um, three sets of rows, three sets of planks. This is my first workout in over a month, first back workout. I feel pretty good, I'm glad I took the month off and worked on my flexibility and my mobility. It's really helped. I can tell a lot with just the movements and little aches and pains I used to have that I don't have anymore. So if you guys are feeling stiff at all, so be afraid to take a little bit of time off and stretch. Or if you haven't worked out at all before, make sure you get a little bit flexible and have some mobility before you start you know, doing squats and deadlifts and pull-ups. It's really gonna help you out and it's gonna prevent injury. All right, on to my last set. What the hell am I doing? Three times 10. For these, also you really wanna keep your back nice and flat, never rounded. Nice and flat, stick that butt up in the air. Now you can either do these on a flat bench or I see some people even do them standing, but I don't usually do them on an incline, so I'm a little bit higher, but all I have is this flat bench, so I'm gonna do them here. These are one of my favorite exercises for back. They really isolate each side of your lat. All right. Now for me, I always do my weak side first. I'm right-handed, so left side is always weaker. I always do left side first. All right, first set of rows done. On to some planks. 
I said 30 seconds, but I'm gonna hold these guys for a minute since I feel pretty good and really I've rested more than a minute in between sets just setting up cameras and moving lights around. I would usually do these on my elbows, but I don't know where I'm at right now. Same effect though, you just really wanna pull those abs up and in. Don't dump in the butt, keep the butt up, nice and straight, flex those legs, point the heels towards the back wall, just squeeze. All right, last set. All right, guys, just got done with my first workout here in the new home gym. I've worked out here before, but now I got new equipment. Uh, the TRX, this guy, TRX, worked out great. The pull-up bar worked out great. I'm really happy with both of those. I got a really good workout in. I got a good, nice back pump. Like I said before, I didn't really rest a minute. I would have liked to have done it a little bit faster. Um, but with the cameras and the setup, and it just went a little bit slower. Of it, This whole workout really took me about an hour and a half to do. Um, I really like to work out for about an hour a day. And I hope you guys like this workout. I plan on doing a lot more workouts like this. And if there's anything you guys want to see or things I could improve on, let me know down in the comments below. And please guys, thank you for watching this vlog. I really appreciate it. I'm really trying to build this channel up and, and really make it one of my main focuses. So please like, subscribe, and share this vlog if you don't already. All right, guys. Check out our merchandise at shopsinslife.com.